people it is lena from the land of gods and i am back from a rather long break longer than i expected but it has been absolutely gorgeous break and i was dying to get back to my card so here i am this reading is for the sign of gemini the first week of august from first till the seventh we are gonna jump straight into the reading one more shuffle after this and we will be ready gonna look into the challenge for the week the advice and the outcome of the advice is followed gonna clarify all of that and to wrap up the reading we are going to pull an oracle guidance message i think we have the challenge already i am using the good tarot for this week and wow the advice is right here for of what has got to see things through a different angle apparently is what i hear as i was saying for the oracle guidance i am using the energy oracle card we have number 14 patience overall is the six of air what we are seeking is peace Clearly, that is what is missing, that means, if we are seeking or if that is what is in the focus. The six of Swords, the Six of Air, we just want to have our mental peace wherever we are. Clearly, we don't think that we do have that or we don't feel it. Let us see the challenge. Yeah, there is the sense of no peace, no love, whether it is the mind or the heart, and nothing seems to be at a happy place there's nothing that feels like settled there's a lot of restlessness i feel maybe what we need to do is look at things from a different point of view and that is going to give us a certain sense of calm along with patience coming in as the outcome let us clarify let's jump into the clarifications Ace of Waters, Ace of Cups standing in the challenge for my Geminis. Devil in the reverse. All right. Anything else? Nope. That is it. That is it. Don't really feel that passion anymore. It seems like love is missing from the equation and we are not liking it at all that is leaving us very very restless this i feel is also more to do with accepting your truth and accepting the situation as it is i feel the reason why there is so much of restlessness is because there is a certain sense of i am not going to accept the way the things are the more you are going to struggle, the quicker you are going to sink into the quicksand, I hear. So it's a sticky situation. It seems like wherever you are, where you feel so restless and kind of demotivated and no love around. And clearly the message coming in as the advice is look at things from a different angle. There is love, but not served to you in a way you would like it to be served to you four of cups as the advice spirit let us clarify that look at that yeah be responsible about your heart i hear and be responsible about your actions you cannot be reckless seems like with the Queen of Cups, the Nine of Swords, the Page of Pentacles coming in, Three of Pentacles, and the Knight of Pentacles, there is a need to give yourself time to process whatever is going on. That thing is coming again and again to me. The more you want to get out of the situation, the faster it's going to pull you in. It clearly is a sticky situation. That quicksand analog is coming in again and again. And you need to work with people and take things slowly and easily. One day at a time, I hear. One day at a time. There could be 
kids involved or this could be your inner child that is wounded in some ways and it's giving you restless night but you need to be responsible about your heart and your emotions it is you who need to have that reins of your heart and mind in your control this devil i'm taken to again and again it seems like there is somebody who's not letting you go in some ways like having some kind of hooks and you need to stand tall like this queen of cups know your worth i hear know your worth know the worth of your emotions and invest where you would get the returns you are all in your head because where you are investing it seems like is not really a place where you are finding love peace or anything for that matter and if we are being responsible and taking each day at a time i feel there is somebody who is extremely depressed by the way because of the situation that they are finding themselves in and the only way to get out of your head is holding yourself also responsible for the way that you are acting in this situation you need to calm your nerves i hear patience moon yeah let's see yeah i mean beautiful the minute you are going to hold yourself also accountable for your own behavior and get that control back in you will be able to deal with whatever this is that's leaving you restless with that sense of calm and patience and that stability that is needed and the maturity that is needed to deal with the situation and to deal with your emotions look strength coming in along with such beautiful cards moon strength and ace of pentacles that stability is going to slowly seep in you need to know that you have that strength in you to deal with anything that life throws at you till the time you are in control of yourself mind and heart both and probably that is the teaching that's coming your way that is that life lesson that needs to be learned through this situation through this tough chapter of life wherein we need to realize that we haven't been mature enough to deal with what we have at hand we have behaved in a impulsive manner we have let our heart and our emotions be played out by some people we have allowed others to take things lightly it is a tough lesson doesn't feel like a weekly reading i'm sorry but it doesn't this is a lesson to be learned and this can go for some time but it is all about taking responsibility your own responsibility of the role that you have played in the situation that you find yourself in which is very restless and that is when you will have the patience and the calm to deal with this that is going to lead you to this peace that you seek that you don't have right now and you would have your soul mates your tribe that's going to give you that grounding you feel like that nine of wands soldier that wounded warrior it is going to be tough to come out of this situation but you would and when you do you'll come out much stronger with a good grasp on your emotions and it's going to be a breakthrough yes let's wrap up this reading with an oracle guidance message guys wow gemini this is quite something look wow okay a man holding a heart and a thinking man got to think people you cannot just give your heart to anybody and everybody any tom dick and harry cannot or should not be claiming your heart and you should not 
be just throwing your heart away to anybody, right? So we gotta think, we gotta think things through. This could be you, this could be someone that you are dealing with. I am told read the man holding a heart and a thinking man then. Yeah, 45, 46. Look at that. This is what you are seeking, by the way, I hear. This tender man sits with flowers all around, holding a heart in his hand. For a man, this signals a greater clarity about emotions and their purpose in your life. There could be a more balanced approach to family and love at this time, even if these have been confusing experiences for you in the past. For some, this card of pride could signal the presence of a new man in your life, one who tends to be more thoughtful and aware. Whether or not this man is a love interest or a friend, he brings a high intention to help where personal project, family or home issues are concerned. Yeah. I feel for some it is more to do with the first half of the message than the second half of the message. Basically bringing in or seeking greater clarity about the emotions and the purpose of life as such and having a balanced approach. The thinking man. This card shows a man standing before an archway gazing at a crystal in his hand. He is a thoughtful and a reflective man representing the potential presence of a teacher in your life now or about to arrive soon. This person may be there to educate you in a finer details of your chosen direction or may be there to assist you in some specific spiritual, mental or emotional pursuits. The card is telling you to pay attention for this could lead to great strides in personal or professional growth. This man may also be a love interest coming your way or perhaps just a new male friend. But be on a lookout for this guide in the physical world and be open to his information. Learn what you can. A new discipline, technique, course of study or healing practice could change your life forever. This is taking me to that ace of pentacles in the outcome that if you are going to have this approached balance and think through things here and life in itself is a biggest guide of all right if you learn through the process it seems like a breakthrough is around the corner and on that note my gemini's i'm wishing you all the best thank you so very much for joining me it's a wrap namaste from the land of gods